Colonel, are we being charged with doing our job? The charges will be defined as I hear your testimony. Now, Lieutenant Baird, begin with the last time we saw each other. Hello there, sir from 17 once again. This is my Gears of War Judgment Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. This is section 4, and this is the Great Hall. Uh, what I've not been saying is, is this is all part of the Museum of Military Glory level. But you're probably going to see that in the title. It might depend though, because the title might get real fucking long if you do. It's the only problem with these games. What's the point in having such a long-winded title? Uh, madness. But this is the first of the set up with turrets and shit and defend said area. Excuse me. Here is the declassified mission. Nemesis now joined the ground attack. This really isn't too much of a problem because the AI is really good at shooting Nemesis. Uh, where I'm going to be sitting, it's going to be one of those places where I alternate between these two back areas and the only thing that's really a threat here is if anything gets past the defenses or if your team is just, you know, giant retards all the time, sometimes you can you can get penalized. There's the two emergence holes. If this was Gears 1, I could seal both of them, but the grenades on this game just don't work the way that I like to use them. Because they've changed how, how they function. Instead of it being an item, it's now on the left bumper, and... It just... I don't know, the... The freehand grenade toss is its just different, it's not as useful. There's also a delay. There's times when you've got grenades and you press the left bumper to throw them after you've thrown another one, and he, and he doesn't do it. Which only happened to me a few times, but it still happened. But for the first wave, I'm going to sit back here with my Lancer. I've got my range turret to my left. This bad boy is a boss. I hate the fact that you have to keep putting bullets in them, but they're still pretty cool. And they're going to save your ass in numerous encounters. The Boomer has no chance of hitting us here because he cannot get splash damage off the back wall. It's not close enough, so fuck you, Boomer. The Nemesis are hopefully going to go for everybody else. Uh, be, be aware of this side here. A lot of big guys coming up this side. There's a Boomer. There's one of the Therons with the sword who, as much as they make me laugh, they are quite dangerous. The funny thing is they take two hits to kill you, which I didn't expect. The bad part is the first hit generally stuns you, the second hit almost definitely kills you. So be very careful with that enemy. But they, they do generally have them in sequences, these moments. They have the initial wave that tests your fortifications, and then they have the serious wave, which is the final one. And... These sections are always hairier than you would like them to be. There doesn't seem to be a way of completely controlling uh, the defences. And the reason for this is your team. Your team does not care about stopping the locusts from running around where everybody is. Your team does not set up in intelligent places. They just kind of chill, kind of shoot a few things, kind of wander around. They don't really take it all that serious. And it's a problem <laughs> because... You have to do the brunt of the work. You have to make sure the fortifications are up. You have to make sure that the, the locusts aren't up. You know, you, you have to do a lot. But they are fun, and it helps. You know, it helps the fact that you enjoy the, the insanity of them. And there's a couple later on where the bullshit, because they throw enemies at you in in such wide varieties and such a collection of them. That right there was uh, not intentional. I keep doing this thing where on the old gears where you could sp hold the grenade and then if you didn't want to throw it, you just let go. But on this gear, it throws the grenade, so... People might say, well, you know, just don't do it, get used to the buttons. You can't turn off several years of programming. You know, you used to hold the left trigger and press the right trigger to throw it. If you didn't want to throw it, you let go of the left trigger. So I'm translating that to the new button and it ain't working. <laughs> and I do it a lot, so just don't do that. You're better than that. But a couple of turrets are down. There's a grub. There is a mauler. Get away from him. Get back into cover. My range turret's just gone down, so I'm going to fix him up. I've never been killed while I've been touching the turrets. I don't know if they give you iframes. I wouldn't risk it, but at the same time, you need the turrets to be functional. They will save your ass. Uh, there's a fight later on in the game where I literally turned a turret on and ran circles being chased by a rager, and the turret killed it for me. So never underestimate the usefulness of those little little guys but more nemesis there's a boomer I love that the boomers mantle it's amazing they're like little parkour fiends because 
all they want to do is mantle. He could have walked around, but he mantled, and during that animation, it was long enough for us to kill him, which is really kind. But there's another boomer. We've already got our three stars, so it's just a case of business as usual, get rid of everything, keep the bullets in the turret, and just keep on shooting. But one of the changes on this game, you can only carry two weapons. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Not only does it limit your ability to, to kill, but it stops you from being able to pull out to your sidearm to, to deal with certain situations. Like, I am a, a hardcore snub fan. You know, I, I used to use it on the multiplayer on Gears 1, just running around hip firing and two piecing because it was deadly. I, I, I did a, an insane solo snub only playthrough on Gears 1. I got all the way up to the, I think, the pump factory on, is it Mission 3 or Act 3? I never finished it because other games came out, but I loved it. And it was the best on the first game because it didn't have a trigger a, a trigger limit. You could press it, it could fire as fast as you could press it, and I'm really good at trigger fingering stuff. It sounds extremely dirty for some reason. But they changed that, and on this game, I can't pull it out when I need to do some precision shooting because the Lancer isn't precise, the shotgun's dog shit, you know, it only hurts people in five yards if you ask them kindly. You're going to see this a lot as well, folks. I, I tried to take the turrets with me. Because I never know if it's the end of the level or if there's another sequence. And all the time I pick a turret up, it's always the end of the level. <laughs> but thanks for watching anyhow, folks. I hope it's helping. And you take care now.